This is the silent approach of SQ2. She's a 57 foot semi-traditional narrowboat built in 2012 by Tyler Wilson. And she's not a hybrid, she's actually just electric. She's gas free and powered by a EVS induction motor which delivers 20 horsepower intermittently and 10 continuously. She's been well looked after. The current owners have lived on her since 2012, so she's tried and tested from that point of view. She was last blacked in June 2019. The Jenny Genset was served in June 2019. Four new anodes were put on at the last blacking. And she was repainted by the owner in 2019 as well. Super, super wide side hatch there. And she's fully kitted out for liverboard under electric power. The water tank's in the front hold there, that's integral. We don't know the capacity, but it easily does two people continuously living aboard for two weeks. Nice size well deck, it's very deep. Five feet long, storage under both bench seats and a table in the middle. And the depth allows you to have some really lovely French window style doors here, glazed bulkheads as well, which lead into the saloon. She feels really warm and cosy. She's fitted out in oak. The floor is engineered oak. There's a captain's chair there, which we've just passed. There's the view out into the well deck. The Boss Multimedia system is in there. And there's a 32-inch Technica TV stroke DVD on there. That's on a wall bracket that does come out and swivel. Just moving down slightly past the side hatch, the good bank of shelves underneath that. There's a lot of storage on this boat, you'll see what I mean when we come to it. There's a dining table or desk here, and seating for two. It's actually insulated and designed as a cool box. You won't need to cool your wine, that's for sure, you'll see why in a minute. And that's a beanie bed. There's a huge bean bag that has a double mattress in it, so there is a capacity for an extra two berths should you wish. Head height on the boat is six foot six. Lighting on the boat is all LED. Central heating on the boat is all under floor. There are three zones, the bedroom, the bathroom and the galley and saloon area combined. This is what I mean about your wine. Huge wine fridge under the two burner electric hob. Opposite that the 12 volt hot point fridge sits under the convection oven and grill. That's a sharp and over that there's a couple of useful cupboard spaces for pots and pans and things. Lovely solid oak worktops in this kitchen. Plenty of storage underneath on this side. More cupboards. And a stainless steel sink with a draining sink and a draining board. There's the view from the galley. The saloon, by the way, was 13 feet long and the galley is 7 feet long. All the windows, by the way, on this boat are double glazed. On into the walkthrough bathroom. Lovely arrangement in here. The loo is a composting loo. There's a new bucket with that. And there's an electric extracting fan as part of that. The shower's a quadrant type. These doors slide, don't pull, as you've probably just seen. There's a light over this shower. There's a heated towel rail and some very good linen space between the shower and the gunnels there. Sink is ceramic. And this takes you through a sliding door into the main bedroom. The bed's a cross bed, four foot six wide and extends to very easily by the way to six foot four inches and there's a TV and DVD combo ceiling mounted over that just drops down. I'll show you that, the, the bed extending in a minute. And into the seven foot six inch long stern cabin, there's some storage down there by the way. Vast amount of storage. These have all been cleverly designed to fit IKEA container boxes. I've counted 36 shelves in here. But a vast amount of space to put your personal belongings. There's a washing machine, 6 kilo candy and a 12 volt freezer. That's a lek. 
and the various bits of electrical equipment that generate a start button are over there. Onto the semi drive deck, storage under the locker on the left there. And there's the view from the helmsman's position. We're going to have a quick look in the engine bay in a minute. There we go. That's the generator, 11 kVA, it's a beta. And that's the induction motor. The 10 kilowatt inverter is there. And the battery charger for the 12 volt system is there. Batteries on board, by the way, the 24 2 volt wet lead cells for the propulsion and the inverter, and two 110 amp hours. 12 volt batteries for the domestic services. You can cruise on this day if it's gentle cruising all day under electric power. Anything strenuous and you need to run the generator which tops the batteries up while you're going. Hot water on board is provided by the genset or an immersion heater. There was a prism light in the roof there. Here we go, this is how easy it is to drop the bed. Just pull out this pin, drop it down flick the mattress over. There is an intruder alarm system and a really clever bit of kit is that the operation and monitoring of the electrical systems on the boat, the battery charge state and if you need to start the generator to top the batteries up that can all be done remotely from home. You just need a SIM card. I haven't mentioned the all-important cat flap. There's a cat flap in the back door. A couple of colourful lights up there. And the other thing I haven't mentioned is solar power. The boat is fully wired up for solar power and has a solar controller and the owners will be fitting a 100 watt panel prior to sale. So there we go, that's SQ2. Electric and gas free boat for a gallery of further photographs. A downloadable colour brochure on the price, go to our website www.rugbyboats.co.uk.